To be frank, she was a little bit lazy. At that time, she was a little bit grungy. Cigarette in one hand, cannabis in the other. The second call, they say, is a doubt there, is a doubt there. Keep on. She literally was like a thousand lions. I have goosebumps from head to toe. The toilets are disgusting and she swore a lot. memory of Adele would definitely be seeing her in her tracksuit bottoms in the corner of the foyer at Brit School playing a rugged guitar, not a care in the world, singing her own songs, singing them with such passion and doing, being exactly the same person wherever she goes, whether she's on stage or having a private conversation with a friend, she was the same person and I think that was the main thing. One time we took a group of students down to Devon, about 20 students, and we were all meeting at Clapham Junction Station at about nine o'clock in the morning. Um, you know, train was due about half past nine, and about 25 past nine we got a phone call from Adele. She'd just woken up, so she missed the train and she Devon for four days. And when I last saw her, she said, oh, I'm just still so gutted about that, that I didn't make it. Years <laughs> since I uh, made this video, the fact that I used my own mobile phone number in the video has come back to bite me on the bum. Uh, in, it's a daily occurrence. I get calls every day uh, from little kids. Uh, the first call that they make, they usually hang up. The second call, they say, is a doubt there, is a doubt there. And the third call, usually they sing to me. Most of them think I'm a boyfriend, her, some ex-boyfriend that's done her a terrible wrong messages today. Okay, so who's this? Get six, seven of those a day. Hello, I need to speak to you. Was you once Ad Adel's ex-boyfriend? Please answer your calls. Hi, my email address, please call. Epic <laughs> for putting your number on the Adele video. <laughs> That's it, I just gotta respect that, haven't you? Because I am, I am. <laughs> I'm really stupid. My favourite memory of Adele um, is probably when she invited me to go to the Fame Academy Bursary Awards with her. We went along and the guest of honour was Paul McCartney. Um, and as a massive Beatles fan, we both were, were big Beatles fans and so we were very excited about meeting Paul McCartney. And um, he walked into the room and we became aware of the fact because the whole crowd suddenly went into the corner and Adele and I held hands and ran over and managed to cut him off just as he was leaving the room um, and both shook hands with him, you know, and then said we weren't going to wash our hands forever. Um, and, uh, and then a little bit later in the evening, um, we also got to meet the legend Bruce Forsyth. Now, Adele has got a photo of my, me and her and Brucey somewhere. I didn't get a copy, so I'd quite like one of those. Um, but it's, much, much as I love Brucey, I wish I had one of them um, myself and Adele and Paul McCartney as well. I understand they've, they've met since, but um, I haven't, so. The other 19 was nominated uh, for the Mercury Prize. Um, the ceremony was at Grown House in Mayfair. Very glitzy, very glam, full of tables of people throwing back um, uh, the fizz, uh, having a marvellous time. And generally, when the bands play, play um, some people don't listen to you know, the artists on stage. They're too busy having a, a marvellous time. Um, there were some bands playing, you could hear people talking, and then Dell came on, she started playing, and it was her and her guitar and her voice. You couldn't hear a pin drop in the room. It was really incredible kind of hearing that effect. And that, I've never heard that. In the, the five years I've been a Mercury judge, I've never had that experience. Well, no, twice, with her and with um, Amy Winehouse, actually. Um, but it's testament to her, um, Adele's talent as a, as a singer, as a performer, as somebody who can completely engage an audience. It's just it's not just her voice, it's her aura, it's her um, presence on that stage. Um, it's just incredible, you know, what warmth she gives across.